St. Patrick's Day is coming up and we got a great treat for you. I know, we have Christy Woofel here from Serendipity Cupcakes. Cupcakes. But we're gonna make cookies today because it is St. Patrick's Day. We're gonna make these darling clover cu um, cookies. So Got the cookie cutter right here. <laughs> Thank you for being on. Thank you for having me today. And tell us how to make these great cookies. So basically we're just making a basic sugar cookie which consists of sugar, shortening, your egg, your flavoring, vanilla, vanilla, or you can use almond, flour, baking powder. Um, I have some almond milk and a little bit of salt. Awesome. So you mix that up, and then when it's done, you form a ball. And what I do is I put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour, or you can even leave it in there overnight okay. because it's a little bit tacky when it's first made. Yeah, so, so is Mary. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of flour on your board just a little bit and then you're going to take your hand and spread it out and then you're going to put some on your rolling pin how am i doing very good we did this very nice too. yeah mm -hmm. and then you're going to take a little bit of your dough and you're going to roll it out and i keep the dough a little bit on the thick side Okay. A little bit more. If it's too thin, it might burn in your oven. Oh, yeah. So you don't want that, and plus it'll be a, a crunchy cookie. You're doing really well. That's very what a good. Simple, fun Is that thick enough? Recipe. Yeah, maybe just a little, bit, a little more. bit more. Yeah, just a little bit more. Yeah. That's right. so you that's really good. Use any shape. Exactly. Any the basic yes. Go yes. To. So this is it. the bottom, mm -hmm. and you press it in. Okay. Good. Scott. And there, yeah, that's great. Doing a good job. Gotcha. So yeah, I just pull out the excess dough and then you put it on your cookie sheet. You throw that in there. And yeah. you put it on your cookie sheet and you bake it for about 12 minutes at 375. And then when you So we pretend done, that they've come out of the oven. Yes, now. they've come out of the oven. And so um, now you want them to cool on a nice wire rack. Yes. Once great. once they've cooled, then you're gonna want to make your royal icing. Okay. And so that consists of just a little bit of corn syrup, right. some flavoring, and for this I used almond, oh, yes, a little almond. bit of warm water, okay. and then some confectionery sugar. Okay. And the confectionery so, sugar is the real, real thin, the real fine sugar. Is that um, like a powdered sugar? It's a powdered or? sugar. Okay. Yes. Great. Yes. So I you mix. Get confused by the types of right, sugars. Right. Right. So you mix that up, mm -hmm. and then you get this royal icing. Now you could put this in a pastry bag and frost oh, your cookie, it. but it's a little bit messy. So I found if you buy these little plastic bottles, it works really nice. Okay. Yeah. So um, what you do is first you're going to um, outline the cookie, okay. and you don't want to get too close to the edge because the icing could drip over. Okay. Yeah, and Mary, you can't erase your mistakes, so I be know, careful. There's no eraser, but I think, Here I, it I, comes. think I can do it. Here it okay. is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here so we go. just out, it's start almost here. like you're coloring. Oh, okay. So start right here on the edge. So is this something fun and easy that the kids can do? Oh, yes. Do? Yes, it, that would be so much fun. And... There you, you go. Just keep going. Yes, put a little, I put green uh, okay. in this one. Does, can it be any kind of food coloring? Just something that you get from the market? Yes. Or do you sell things in your store? Or? Um, no, I don't. Um, I don't product? actually have a storefront. Okay. But yeah, you can buy the food coloring in the store. Do there you go. Very. So that's great. All right. So what we're going to do next okay. is we're going to um, fill in the cookie. Okay. So you can just put that right here. Right. I thought we were and then, eat. Okay, no, so I gotta, it I gotta. Here, yes, you crisscross it, and you can kind of use the tip okay. to help fill in because you want to stay in the line. So okay. Here you the go. Lines. Yeah, almost like coloring. There you go. So what's the Squeeze. largest cookie you've made with the royal icing? Um, probably this size. Okay. So there you go, and you can kind of use the tip to help you fill in. Right. How long did you bake these for? About what 12 minutes, um, about 375 degrees. Okay. So you'll want to check, like say after 10 minutes, you'll want to open the oven and see if they're browning. Because uh, all, you, burned, all right, all oven temperatures are different. Okay. So I always check after 10, um, but it usually goes about 12 minutes. You're doing great. Oh, oh my you're gosh. just saying that because no. it's true. <laughs> I'm gonna hire you next time I have to make these cookies. 
I bet you get a ton for Christmas and things too. Oh yes, Christmas time's a, a really busy time. And what's nice about these is um, you can freeze them. Oh yeah, yeah. There so you go. what I do is I usually start after Thanksgiving the cookies for my family, uh -huh. and um, you can freeze them, and okay, yeah, take them out. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll decorate them. Okay. And it looks like a little, a, is a, a little is a lot better than more, right? We don't want to pack them. Right. So I put these on one by one. Oh, you too. Oh. And you just kind of drop them. Yeah, it takes a long time. But I want them to look she, nice. She loves Perfection. me. She Perfection. Loves me she loves me. She, this is, so will uh, you make a lot of these for? Yeah, this one's um, got two stuck together. For Easter too. Oh, oh yes, you can do for Easter. Um, I've made for bridal showers. Now you have these little teeny dots. Yeah, you can so. put them in the palm of your hand, oh, okay. and then you know one, you know, just drop them on. Okay. Well, you're doing really good. I'm impressed. Ready? Look at this. This is. Do you want some of the little dots? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay so, so what yeah. kinds of things will you make for Easter? Um, well, you know what? I make these really cute um, Easter cupcakes. Aww. And I use marshmallows and I roll them in uh, pink sugar. Uh -huh. And uh, so those are the ears. And then I put faces Aww. on with candy. They're really adorable. I actually, wow, that's really nice. Um, I have some photos of that on my Facebook page. Serendipity oh, cupcakes. Serendipity so you can, yeah, you can see a lot of the things okay. that I've done um, on my Facebook page, and also on my web page. These are. There's the finished product. Beautiful. Oh, and here's my. So, cookie. and you'll I'm want, want you'll want these to dry before you put them in a container to store them. Okay. How so long do they a couple. Take to dry? I'd say a couple of hours. Just leave them on your wire rack. Okay. Um, and then when you think they're ready, you can come over and just touch it. If the frosting's hard. It, this one then looks like it's ready. It is. it is ready to go, and it goes really well with coffee or tea. Oh, I'm, I'm we need something for our coffee. You got any milk? Oh, here. Almond milk. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think I can dip this in there. No, not really. So, mm. so Christy, wow, that's yes. really Christy good. Christy Wolfel, thank yes. you very much thank for being you. on with us. She is with Serendip Serendipity Cupcakes, and again, tell us how to reach you. Um, you can find me at serendipitycupcakesca.com, and also um, a week from tomorrow, I'll be at Williams Sonoma on Lake Avenue in Pasadena from 11 to 3. I'll be doing a pop up store, which is they invite me into their store. I set up my display and I give out samples and I sell cupcakes. Nice. So from 11 to 3, I'll be there a week from tomorrow. On Lake That's Avenue great. in Pasadena. Yes. That sounds fantastic. Def so. Definitely bring this recipe with you. Yes. Really yes, I will have these cookies there. So. Thank you for being on. And thank, thank you. you for Watching today, we really appreciate you being with us. And also, thank some other people who are on Wednesday, Tammy Kamali. Uh, well, uh, we got Patrick and Celeste. Patrick